everyone, it's Kat and I'm back today to test out some viral makeup. Um, so this product, which is this one here, I haven't tried it yet. I'm trying it for the first time today. It is the Clinique Almost Lipstick, which is an interesting name for a lipstick. And it's in the shade 06 Black Honey. Now this product has been around since before I was born and I am nearly 38 years old. This has been around since 1971. Yes, it's very old. <laughs> now, the reason this keeps coming back into popularity, I think, is for two reasons. One is that a new, new generation of makeup lovers discover it. They think it's like a, a miracle thing. It's the, the coolest thing and they want to talk about it and it becomes sort of viral again, which is what hap has happened recently on TikTok. I remember that happening on Instagram and I remember it happening on YouTube and I remember happening blogs. That's how old I am. I remember it happening since probably like 2010. I, I distinctly remember this coming back in favor every few years. Now, the second reason I believe this has been as popular as it has been is because it claims to be quite a universal lip shade. And uh, it, I would say that that's probably accurate if it's been loved since 1971. It's withstood trends and fashionable colors and apparently it just looks great on all skin tones. It just depends on how much you apply. So I want to give this a go. I've never actually tried it. This shade has also come out in so many different things. Nail polishes, blushes, different lips, products, everything. But this is like the traditional one. It's the sort of um, it's almost like a hybrid lipstick lip balm sort of product. So swatching this, this is definitely a tinted balm and I can see how it's quite universal because it just looks like lip tone. Uh, this could be something that men can wear, women can wear if you want to just emphasize your lip color. So I've worn no lip color today. This is my natural lip color and let's see how this enhances it. It looks very dark. It looks quite intimidating, but we've seen from the swatch that it's very, very sheer. Wow, it is very pretty. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, it actually looks a lot more nude in person than it does on camera. I feel like the camera just sort of picks up some of the red tones a little bit more. Feels super buttery. This is very a very moisturizing lip. I can definitely see how this would be a universal color. If you've got lighter lips, you just blot it down a little bit. If you've got deeper lips, you can build it up to this and it can look less berry on you and it could look more sort of just a nice sort of um, lip enhancing tone. I think it's gorgeous. I think I understand why it's been around and popular since the seventies. I think this is a perfect example of how makeup can just enhance your looks and make you look a little bit more Put together healthier vibrant like i feel like the makeup look that i'm giving today is totally that this lip just looks healthy and it looks like i've got color in my lips it's very very flattering and really gorgeous okay time to swatch black honey next to other lipsticks that i own that are a similar sort of color not quite the same effect uh, but this one is black honey so it's very sheer it is like a sheer sort of balm Beautiful. The MAC Glow Play Lip Balm in the shade That Tickles uh, gives me a similar sort of vibe. It's not that really, really dark color in the tube, but on the lips, it gives a similar effect. It's a little bit more orangey and less, well, this one would be more cool tone. That would be more warm tone, but you can see it gives that same sort of effect. Another lipstick that is designed to suit pretty much all skin tones, all genders and whatnot is the Hindash Rest in Roses. Now this is described as a matte balm. So these are balms obviously, but they're quite shiny. The MAC one is shinier than the Clinique one, but this one's even more matte. So it does actually have a more sort of pink tone to it, but you can see how it has that sort of universal color and it is a hydrating formula, but it is matte. Now it looks very different. You're thinking, why are you comparing the two? Simply because if you just use a little bit of it and sort of shear it out, it does give that sort of universal color, but again, not the shine. So this is something you'd go for if you do want to intensify, if you do want to shear it out, um, but you want that sort of natural lip finish. So no sort of balmy look. This one can get you a similar sort of universal 
effect. You could also do that with most berry lipsticks. So this one here is by Hourglass. This is just um, a refill and it's in the shade I Can't Live Without. This is a lot more intense, obviously. It's very pigmented. But again, if you take a little bit and you use it, blend it in and even like put a balm over the top or a lip oil over the top, you can get a very similar effect. So essentially all this is, is a very, very sheer berry um, in a balm finish. And it is handy to have it all in one, easy to throw on. But if you don't want to buy this and you have other berries in your collection, uh, just mix them with a lip balm or shear them out and you can get a sort of similar sort of beautiful flush to the lips. Okay, it's been a couple of hours since I applied the lip product and all I had was a bit of iced coffee through a straw. So I didn't actually, I've been talking, I've been filming with my friends, so um, it has been wearing off. It still feels nice and hydrating and there's a little bit of color left, but it's really not that obvious. So this is the type of lip product that you would need to reapply quite a few times during the day. Luckily it's nice and sleek. You can put it in your handbag, not a problem. And I'm sure it reapplies in a lovely way. Let's try it. Like you can definitely see the color has sort of been gripping to the inner part of the, the lip. I think if you've got dry patches actually, which I don't have, you might find that this clings to certain areas. Um, but overall, it's a very nice feeling balm. It looks really beautiful and natural. Um, yes, you got to reapply a few times, but it fades down really naturally. It makes your lips just look like hydrated, slightly tinted, beautiful, more perfected lips. So this is great. I get it. I get it. Um, it's not going to become my like everyday lip product, but I, I get the hype. I think it's, it's gorgeous. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my members for supporting my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.